Also, when you have teams like like a, a lot of young teams, coaching is important, and that's why I question Matt LaFleur's coaching. It's easy to coach LeBron. I'm not going to say easy. I'm going to say easy. It's easy to coach LeBron. When you have LeBron, Anthony Davis, Russell Westbrook, it's easy, even though they're not that good. Uh, let me, let me, it's easy to coach LeBron. It's easy to coach Steph Curry. It's easy to coach Kevin Durant. It's easy to coach Giannis. It's easy to coach some of these great players. It's easy to coach Aaron Rodgers because it's, it's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you might have to deal with you know some subliminals or whatever, but you still have Aaron Rodgers. I'm almost sure it's uh, it's a lot easier coaching. It's a lot easier coaching what Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes than it is coaching Carson Wentz and Davis Mills. All I'm saying is we keep talking about his record, Matt LaFleur's record and his success, but what is he doing when you need him? When you have a young team, when things are not working, when you have your quarterback mouthing, what the F are we doing? What what are you drawing up? And it seems like you're not drawing up much. I know it seems like I'm harsh on Matt LaFleur, but, bruh, what have we seen outside of what have we seen from Matt LaFleur that makes it seem like he's a good coach? Because the thing that I think that, that you can really determine a good coach is two areas. What your team looks like after halftime and what your team looks like in the playoffs when your big guns aren't, aren't shooting. How, what are you able to draw? What do you, like, there's no question that, that Andy Reid is a good coach. Because Andy Reid was able to do it with Patrick Mahomes, he's able to do it with Alex Smith. He's able to do it. He's cemented. There is no question that Bill Belichick is a good coach. Yeah, they might be struggling now, but there is no question that Bill Belichick he did it with. You know, he's done it for as long. I do think that it was you know Bill Belichick needed Tom Brady and Tom Brady needed Bill Belichick, but he's a good coach. There is no question that. Sean McVay, that Kyle Shanahan, these are good coaches. You can see the schemes. You can see the play calls. You can see the play designs. What has Matt LaFleur done to show us that he's a good coach? Because let's look at this Green Bay Packers team. They underachieve when they're in the playoffs. Boom. They they absolutely do not make a halftime adjustments or whatever halftime adjustments they do make. It gets sn snuffed out that quickly. Like, what, what has Matt LaFleur showed us? I don't know, man. Might be a little too harsh. I don't know, but I just don't think it's hard. I'm not wishing upon anyone's job or anything, but I haven't seen anything to make me think, yeah, Matt LaFleur is a good coach outside of, yeah, you're coaching Aaron Rodgers. Oh, man, you stayed to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss any content from your boy. You can also go back and watch past episodes, past clips, and don't forget that the Unpopular Podcast new episodes drop every Wednesday and Saturday. Appreciate you.